Um, but you find Holocaust memorials in all sorts of unexpected places. This is inside a prison, um, the municipal prison of a town of Przemysl, um, because Jews were often brought to the prisons. Um, they were left to starve to death. Sometimes they were shot to death. Sometimes they were left in the open air to freeze to death in the middle of winter. Um, and prisons are also a location in which the Holocaust unfolded. Um, the most famous, of course, setting for um, Jewish victimhood in the war was, of course, inside the ghettos. The, there were no ghettos in pre-war Poland. When people speak about the Warsaw Ghetto or the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising, people, some people may think that there was a ghetto before the war. The answer is no. Uh, at the orders of the Germans and the Jews were pushed inside. And here is a last piece of ghetto wall, or one of the two last pieces of ghetto wall, I should say, in the city of Krakow. You can see, actually, it doesn't look too terrifying like that, but if you imagine that the houses beh behind it, which were inside the ghetto during the war, would all be painted over so that people couldn't look out, uh, boarded up, um, and of course anybody attempting to jump over that wall would be sort of shot on sight, you begin to realize that you're dealing with something which is very horrific. And of course, in Poland, people remember this past very well, just like they remember here how this tram uh, in the center of the photograph used to um, be taking passengers, Polish passengers, from one part of Krakow to the other along this street. But that street, which is there at the moment, was inside the ghetto. Um, and the, the tram wasn't allowed to stop at all. So somebody, a Pole looking at this, will remember uh, an elderly Pole will remember what a particularly horrific place this was. On the right-hand side of the large building was the Judenrat, where the Jews had their um, headquarters. I mean, the Germans insisted that there should be, in most towns, a place uh, where there should be an elected or somehow appointed uh, managerial Jewish staff to oversee uh, the German control of the Jewish population. Whether they should or shouldn't cooperate with the Germans belongs to an episode, an aspect of the Holocaust, which is still very controversial. Um, but um, that picture is horrifying, not so much for what you can see there, but what is hidden there, uh, if you like. It's in the mind's eye. P people who are from Krakow and see that picture and see that place may still remember the horrors which took place right there.